Ladies and gentlemen, in this RedGamingTech.com video, I'm going to be taking a look at Race Room Racing Experience, which is a racing simulation game released on the PC, free to play. It's uh, developed by Simbin Studios, A and B, and published by Simbin, as well as Race Room Entertainment AG. So anyway, without further ado, let's just get on with it. Because it's a PC game, the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the options. Um, audio options, of course, would be probably a good one to check out first. There is the option to choose just about every type of music and sound effect volume that you can think of. I've turned the engine sounds way down to 50% because I've had a quick blast around the track and believe me, they were pretty loud 100%, which I believe they weren't default. I think 75% is default, but anyway. Uh, controller options, you've got the option for, for keyboard and mouse as well as standard 360 controller, whatever else. I'm going to be using 360 controller because left and right steering on a keyboard is just not really going to do us too well, I don't feel. And finally, the visual options, because this is just a teaser, not all options in the game are available currently. And that does include the visuals also. Um, it has this kind of a cool radio dialogue, um, but anyway... You've got the aspect ratio, resolution, full screen, vertical sync, and FOV options, as well as the options to choose a free custom um, options as well. I'm going to be using high for this, which is obviously the best that can currently be done in the game. There is the option for start, and all of these others are blanked out in the free to play uh, teaser edition, which is all that's currently available. So, without further ado, I'm going to click on start. This game is actually quite hardcore. Um, I found myself going all over the track if you accelerate too much, and because I'm really used to arcade races right now, I'm not finding myself jumping straight into this and being able to race too well, if I am particularly honest with you. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to give it a attempt. So we start with a rolling start. And as you can see, the graphics are quite nice. I'm going to limp around the track at a rather reasonable rate. You can hear the roar of the engines even though I've turned the sound down for you guys quite substantially actually. Um, and believe me, I've got my mic. You can see just how much you have to actually slow down there to get off the track. Um, I've managed to make an invalid lap already. So I'm gonna slow down and actually do this sensibly. This is actually even worse, and by worse, I mean more sensitive, but probably even Gran Turismo on, of course, the PlayStation. This is why I would not like to play a ski game on a uh, keyboard, because I think you'd probably be want to kill yourself. Full acceleration, now we break, baby. We definitely break. I'm actually doing significantly better. The models and detail are not that bad, actually. You can see the, the background tech... Oh, shit. Did not even see that corner coming up. The background... Oh, dear. The background stands... Actually, if we stop, I'm going to drive over so you guys can see the stands and the level of detail. I'm not particularly wanting to do a massively good job. You can actually also change the guy's um, head. So you can see just what it looks like. I'm just going to give you guys a quick, you know, wander around so you can see the level of detail in before you download it. Alright, you've also got the option for multiple uh, models. In fact, I'm going to stop for a second. You can see the car details. I believe I've got actually anti-aliasing disabled in my NVIDIA options. Well, there you have it. You can also race in side view as well, which is pretty cool. There's actually quite a lot of detail on the dashboard. You can see... The guy's hands do indeed move. I personally don't really like this view, if I'm honest. I'm more of a fan of this particular view, which is kind of like on top of the bonnet. Ooh, it's not quite the headlight cam like this one. Oh, bollocks. You have to excuse me, I am actually awful at this game. Although I'm managing to limp around the track, as I mentioned. Engine, the car's definitely fast and furious, if you will. Yes, my lap is invalid. The game's very harsh. As far as I can tell, if you go off the lap, any. Literally gritting my teeth on that one. Oh dear. Yeah, already invalid. You see, just by that. This is going to be one of those for hardcore racing fans. Preferably, I imagine, with a wheel. 
I don't own a wheel because I'm not a particularly massive racing fan. Oh, bollocks. Um, which is probably not really helping me, if I'm honest. I'm going to go with partial acceleration around this corner. This is where analog sticks, of course, are becoming quite handy. You can see it's actually advising me to slow down a little bit on this. Which I shall indeed do. And we can accelerate out onto the small straight. This is definitely one of those games that definitely heavily relies upon the use of analogs. I'm sure they don't care about those cones. Let's just stop again in the middle of the track so you can get an idea. I'm going to apply brakes. As you can see, I start sliding back if I don't actually apply the brakes because it's a slight curve. Which is kind of cool, actually. You do have full reverse. Which, strangely enough, becomes the brake button. That's a bit odd, I found. It's no longer the accelerator, it's the brake. But well, you have to go into the reverse. But that's just an aesthetic choice. I'm going to go around the track a bit slower so you can get an idea of the level of detail. Obviously, this game is still in development for the final version, I imagine. And so forth. I'm going to go over here so you can get an idea of the other bits and pieces. I'm going to apply my brakes, as it were. Ah, stop! There we go. Got various flag flying. It doesn't look too bad graphically at all. Once again, this is a free download. You can check it out. You can check out the leaderboards and everything else. The old, I'm just demonstrating more than anything at this point, but the old accelerate and then brake and then turn left at the same time doesn't work on this game. It is very, very brutal. You can see though you do have a fairly reasonable mini-map in the corner. So if you're actually trying to take it fairly sensibly and not race like an absolute lunatic, The lap wasn't invalid, you're invalid or something. Oh, wow. This game is brutal. So I'm going to park up here. And I'm going to be quitting... And I'm going to look at the main menu and I'll have a look at the leaderboards and other stuff for you to enjoy. There's a leaderboard challenge, challenge race room. It looks like actually that is the uh, media screenshot. You can take various screenshots of whatever in the game. Open and so forth. It looks like leaderboard challenge is the same thing if I'm not mistaken. Let's just double check that. I don't think I'm wrong. Do, 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 do. At the moment, I am waiting for a delivery. Um, I ordered a new CPU and fan. Let's see. Or rather, a CPU fan, not a new CPU and fan. Right. So, yeah. It's kind of a quick one. I'm going to give it one last blast around, even though I don't really think I'm showing you guys anything new. Might as well. I'm actually going to try to race reasonably sensibly this time as well. Prepare for profuse swearing. I don't really know where I should stop breaking. I imagine here, to be honest. Don't dare disqualify me. There we go. This game could really start testing your patience if you're trying to get a very fast lap time. It does actually show you the racing line of what you're trying to beat, which is kind of cool. Full acceleration, baby.
And by full, I mean for that small straight, and then I have to break. Sounds very creaky, doesn't it? Oh, just for a horrible second there. Alright. I'm actually doing surprisingly well. Yes. No! Put full power, baby. There we go. Wave to my crowd. My admiring fans. Meanwhile, full speed ahead for a spectacular crash at the bottom of the track. And I think that just about sums up the game. So, it is good. It's very limited at the moment. It is only a teaser. So, hopefully you guys have got an idea of what it plays like and so on. Um, hopefully, you'll know whether it's worth your download. Obviously, as I've said, this is more for serious rating fans and so on. There's definitely a lot of scope for improvement in terms of your times and so on but it's also a lot of rage worthiness because it's very very easy to get your lap disqualified graphics are quite nice they're functional they're not the best you've ever seen but what do you expect it looks very good and remember it's still in development as for other features it's quite uh, thin on the ground at the moment but it's not bad it's completely for free it's available on steam as i've mentioned so go ahead and download it if you so desire Anyway, um, I think that's just about covers it on this particular video. Just thought I'd let you know about this one. So, bye for now, guys, and take care of yourselves.